Oh my god, I'm almost re-recording this game for two hours straight. Are you serious? Tuna, you know, we're in the same homeroom. Were you listening? Oh, were you listening to music? 10%? That's what Professor Birch said. What? Oh, oh, I guess all the professors are saying things. You see, I got it mixed up because I know Trevor was in our class, but he was in our ghost class. Never mind. I'm not trying to play devil's advocate here, but what makes you so sure? There are a lot of people here that seem a lot smarter than us. A little immature, but I have a gut feeling about this. You can call it a sort of instinct. Wow. I guess we're all gonna pass according to Trevor. What does that even mean? Speaking of talent, have you guys decided what clubs you want to join? Oh, sign-ups at the club fair start next week, right? Oh my god, I knew it was next week, but I was getting my hair done. It was a club fair next week, oh my god. Damn, I don't think I took time to look at the club brochure yet. Sometimes I surprise myself about how unprepared I am when it comes to important things like me and school. I'm often not knowing about things until they're mentioned. Oh, let me guess. The maid and host club? We're maybe the cheerleading team. Oh, if you're in the cheer team, you're gonna be with me! What? No, it's neither of those. Ah, oh, boo, that's not fun. Good guess, but we're joining the coordinator club. Oh my god, I'm gonna be a coordinator. Coordinate things, coordinate my schedule, coordinate my life. Oh my god. It looks really fun. Besides, Brent and I both just started. Uh, that's a lie. We both just adore Pokemon contests. Oh my god, contests. I love contests. We've been watching contests since we were kids, so the coordinator club is perfect for us. Dang, you guys are lucky. Which one are you going to join, Travis? I'm guessing the photography club? Yes, actually, it looks quite fascinating, and I very much want to explore more advanced photography equipment. DSLRs can never go wrong with a Canon EOS 7D. Unless this is a very old episode, and uh, there's something better on out now. Do you guys know if the school has a dance team or anything related to dancing? Yeah, I'm sure it does. Oh, wait, doesn't, she said. Doesn't have a dance club yet. Oh, snap, he's gonna start a dance club. Anyone can start up their own club if they get enough members to sign up, yeah? That's true, that was the deal at my school. Think I know what he's up to? We only need five members on board. <laughs> Since there are more than five of us here. Dude, are we all gonna make a dance club? That's awesome. You know, you need a supervisor. <laughs> so we gotta find a teacher who would approve the dance club. Yeah, let's do that. We gotta approve it. Hey, Leaf, you wanna be the first member? Oh, you get those hearts out of your eyes. She's mine. Uh, thanks, but no thanks. Yay, he's creeping her out. Awesome. I'm gonna join the uh, Doors Club instead. It'll be nice to get off the school campus whenever I can. Aw oh, man, suit yourself. Everyone's looking at me like they're waiting for my input. Can't say I've been thinking about clubs. Can't say it's really high on my priorities at the moment. I wish I had a, s I wish I had a list. I would totally look through them. I should think about a club I'd be interested in. Clubs, huh? Reaning towards... Oh, sweet! Coordinator club, cheer team. Photo club, dance club, outdoors club. I could be with Leaf. Battle team. Uh, I kind of do want to do battle team, honestly. I kind of want to follow Leaf, and honestly, I'd kind of like to be with Brendan and May too. And I would like to do the. I want to do all of them. I could. I could become a cheerleader. Why not? Uh, it's between outdoors and battle team for me. Uh. You know what? We're not in any classes together. Maybe we could use some time. The Outdoors Club. That sounds chill. The thought of being stuck on campus all day the whole year doesn't sit well with me. That is true, too. I don't like the idea of being stuck on campus all day as well. Like, at purchase, I was doing all sorts of stuff when I was going out. Can you imagine spending half the day stuck inside school? I sure can't. It's suffocating. I need to have a change in scenery and every once in a while or I'll lose my damn mind. That's true! Oh my god! Okay, not barring what you just said, I was totally about to say Dave and I are on the same wavelength. Which, and Leaf just said the same thing. Leaf is in my head! Holy shit! I'm in Dave's head, but Leaf is in my head. But I'm Dave, so I'm in my own head and Leaf's in my head, but that means Leaf is like double inside Dave's head? I, I can't. I can't. 
Yes, me and you are in the same wavelength, Dave. It is true, though, honestly. Like, I actually say this all the time I'm with my friends. I'm always like, I need a new backdrop. And May's like, hmm. What are you hemming about over there? Oh, nothing, nothing. I'm nothing about anything. Freaking you, freaking you. A leaf and David sitting in a tree. Get it? Sitting in a tree because it's outdoors. I'm so funny. I'm so fucking funny. Brendan, am I funny? So, do clubs meet every day or is it every other day? I believe it depends on the club. Have you guys ever had too much fun doing something? I feel like I'm having too much fun with this game. And it's a freaking visual novel. Attendance isn't mandatory, is it? I think it is. Ah, uh, no, I'm terrified of commitment. Don't say that with your girlfriend right there. That's, uh, good to <laughs> I love this game. That's good to hear. Okay, I... If the developers are somehow still watching this, however many episodes I'm in, I'm sorry for making fun of the dialogue at the beginning of the game, because I love it right now. This is really delightfully written, and I'm enjoying the crap out of it. I think it's safe to say that joining our club requires serious commitment. Like, it feels nice and conversational, not loaded with exposition. I can always find out for sure later. We still got a week to decide. Check it out. The line's thinning over there at the seafood station. Want to grab some Baskin and Chana? Yes, please. Yeah, those two. I ship those two. We've been talking so much we barely touched our food. We should clean up before lunch is over. I'm full. You can have the rest of mine if you want, Brennan. I don't want to get fat. I don't want to get fat and ugly. You can get fat because you're a fucking gym guy. Oh my god. Hourglass is going so far. <laughs> Where do I even start? We listen to Leaf complain about school as we finish up our lunches. <laughs> Once you get ready to move, it's the first time in a while I've been with such a lively group of friends. At least in school. I've never had a lively group of friends when I was in college. I was kind of more like a... into my... like, I, I wouldn't say like lone wolf, but... I spent more time by myself, but I kind of like that because like I had a lot of acquaintances. I didn't really have a core group. But I had like a ton of acquaintances, different majors, like so many of them. And I knew a lot of people and it was really nice and I found that relaxing. I didn't really have too many deep relationships with people when I was in college, but you know, I still hang out with some of my college friends and we've gotten deeper friendships since I've graduated, so that's really cool. I wonder where the teacher is. Five minutes have gone by since class technically started. Maybe he poisoned himself. Stretch my arms. Oh wait! No teacher? In a poison place? Invisible teacher? Ninja teacher? It's Koga, I bet. Whoa. What a dive. I think this girl was sitting two seats behind me. How'd she react that fast? Interesting. Nice catch. Thanks, but it was nothing. Oh, reaction time's insane. Barely noticed myself. Yeah, training for the Pokemon League. Really is another person. So this girl's got awesome reflexes. Plenty of other things to worry about. <laughs> She's making a lot of fun of us right off the bat. Nice meeting you, Dave. She's friendly, though. Okay, so I'm in a class with a ninja. And I'm in a class with a serious ninja who just Japanified the entire soundtrack. Holy shit. Is this guy here the whole time? Welcome to Poco Poison Class, children. I am your instructor, Koga. Just gonna disappear? What is this guy? Some kind of ninja? Yeah. I'm not only a master of poison type Pokemon, but also a master of ninjutsu. No comment from David here. No comment from David, the martial artist. Of course. You must all be here because you expect me to. No. You must all be here because you expect me to teach about poison Pokemon. In that case, you are correct. But that is not all I teach you. I shall teach you the importance of the human and Pokemon mind. How easy they are to manipulate. This is a really cool class already. I'm into it. Let me start this class with a simple question to you. What makes our Pokemon strong? Hmm. Rude male student. The Pokemon's level, duh. Is that even a real question? Fwahaha. <laughs> and how can you be so sure? 
What? Its combat potential will be higher, obviously. What are you stupid? I could be a teacher and not know that. Speaking of which, what kind of teacher is late to class on the first day? This was the least school. God, I'm so lame. What the fudge? A kunai flew across the room and bed itself in the back wall. Yeah. Fool, if you understand Pokemon, then you have to understand why I remain hidden. Can anyone guess why? I'll give you a hint. It is more important than strength to me. Okay, true. One thing better than strength is cunning. This is coming from David. Not David in this game. David in real life. Always know your opponent. Oh, shit. Is knowing your opponent before the encounter? Go on. Like, analyze their weak points. Yes. Yes. You get it, Hilda. You. What? What is your name? Hilda, sir. Explain your thinking, Hilda. Yeah, it's really true. Yeah, exactly. It's exactly what it's saying. I'm gonna put this into martial arts lingo, but yeah, totally. If you know what a person's gonna do, like, if, you, if you're fighting someone and you know they're a boxer, you better get your grapple game up to speed. If you're fighting someone who, and you know that they're, you know, very aggressive, Gotta be ready to play defense, parry that shit, and throw him. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm getting into this. Signature tool is a poison-type Pokemon. Yep. We shall learn soon enough. I love it. They're taking all of his game lingo and... Oh, sorry, game lingo? Game li g dialogue and putting it in. This guy's making it sound like we're gonna assassinate someone rather than just study Pokemon. A-OK -okay with that! We talk about this kind of stuff in our dojo all the time. Not, like, the way he's talking about it, but, you know, it is really true. You gotta be there psychologically as well as physically. I'm a really short, slim guy. I gotta be fast. And I gotta be skilled. <laughs> it's the great equalizer when someone's big. Anyway, enough about that lecture from David. As the day draws to a close, I find myself back in homeroom with Professor Oak. The day itself didn't feel like it dragged on for that long, but all things considered, I'm ready to call it. Judging by the looks on everyone's faces, they look like they're ready too. So much for finishing strong. The final period burns through. Um, okay, apparently it was all boring. Expecting it to be a little more fulfilling. <laughs> wow. I haven't taken anything out of Homeroom that's memorable other than that scary speech about the school's graduate. That is pretty intimidating. Maybe he's unprepared. No way. Not Professor Oak. I can tell by the look in your eyes you're all quite tired of listening to me prattle on. To tell you the truth, I'm tired of it too. <laughs> but before I dismiss you, let me all give you a welcoming gift. I mean, let me give you all a welcoming gift. A celebration for acceptance. <gasps> I get a Pokemon? No way! This whole game, it keeps, I'm two, I'm almost two hours in and it keeps getting better and better.